All right, so welcome back. And on this one, we will talk about the flanger. Now, to explain this properly, uh, to properly explain this, I need to make sure you understand the basics of flanging. Now, uh, this flanger is pretty simple. So again, I am assuming that you uh, know a little bit more, uh, need to know a little bit more about flanging. So I'm assuming you're a, you're a newbie, which is okay. That's why I'm making the video. Now, if you have experience with this, maybe you're gonna find this tutorial a little bit dull. All right. So, okay, so the principle is this. When two identical sounds are played together, but one is slightly delayed, we get flanging. Maybe you're thinking, isn't it that what a chorus will do? Yeah, sure. But the thing is that the chorus, uh, the delayed one, the delayed sound is not that short. The delay times are not that short. And it works a little bit different, but the principle is the same. Uh, it's gonna listen for the original sound. It's gonna make a copy of that original sound and it's gonna play it back with a tiny delay time, right? So chorus, flangers, and phasers, kind of, they belong kind of to the same family, right? Okay, so remember, two sounds, the original one and the copy one, but the copy one, it is slightly delayed. Now, if you go to the flanger right here at the bottom, you can see that you have a time control. So this one will decide how much you're gonna be delaying the copy signal, right? So if I go all the way up, notice that the uh, the amount of time, it's absurd. It's like super short. 27 milliseconds is like, you know, super short, super short. So again, with the flanger, you don't get a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of the time control. You can do very short times and that's okay. That's how the flanger works. Now, again, remember we have the original and we have a copy. Now I can prove that the original one it's the exact same as the copy one. If I go right here and go up in time and say, okay, you know, we are doing a little bit of flanging. We are just really not if you don't uh, use the mix properly. I'm gonna go all the way down and I'm gonna go and play the, or the polysynth I have right here. It's just a polysynth with a chord, just a chord. So of course, with the mix control, you can decide how much of the original signal you want to hear or how much of the processed with the flanger signal you want to hear. If I go all the way down, we are just listening to the original one, right? That's the original. If I stop this and go all the way up, it means that we are listening to the processed one. If I play it back, it's the same sound. It's the exact same sound. The difference is that the one with 100%, it has a delay of five seconds, but it's just the same sound. Now we start to get this flanging effect when we blend them together. So if you go all the way down or all the way down or up, you're not gonna get a difference. You're just delaying the sound or not nothing. You're just not doing anything. But if I play it back and I start to blend both, we start to get the flanging effect. Now, if you go really up on the time control, you're entering the uh, uh, scenario where you uh, are reaching course times, delay times. So maybe too much, not good. Maybe here, something very short is more flangy. So yeah, I know it sounds, sounds dumb what a flanger does, what, what it is, is uh, in essence, and it's really dumb. Yeah, it is, but you know, sounds good, sounds cool. All right, so of course, the only thing we are doing, we are just delaying one, the copy and then we merge them together, we blend them together uh, to get the sound. All right, so with most flangers, what you get is uh, something else, which is the LFO. So because you cannot argue that the sound is pretty dull, right? It's super dull. So what this LFO, what it will do, it will grab this time control and it's gonna move it up and down constantly. So it will get this flanging effect you we, we really love. Now, of course, uh, if you don't know what an LFO is, go to the web, just figure it out what, what an LFO is, and then just come back. But this will emit a signal, which is gonna be constant. And this signal is gonna move just like, uh, you're gonna, uh, like this waveform, 
going to go in a smooth way with the sine or maybe in a more aggressive way with square. But the only thing that this does, it grabs this knob and moves it around, up and down. That's it. Now, this one is going to decide how aggressive or how much you're going to do. If you're going to go a little bit up and a little bit down or, you know, a lot up and a lot down. And this, of course, this is the control that will handle that movement. So now we are just doing a little bit and this one will decide uh, how fast you're going to go, right? Because you can go really slow like this or you can go really fast like this, for example. So, of course, if I go and play it back, now we're going to start to get the uh, normal flanging effect. And if I go up, All right. So that's it. That's flanging. You're just uh, making a copy, blend, uh, blend this with the original signal, and then you provide a little bit of movement with the time control just to get this effect. Now, sometimes, well, most of the times, we use flanging or chorus or phasers to make the sound a little bit uh, bigger. So this one will give you is, of course, the width control. You can go mono right here or use it on stereo, and uh, they give you the option to make the sound wider. So. Yeah. Now, of course, we are going super fast with this one. All right. And of course, you can choose different sine waves. This one is going to be a little bit more aggressive. Or random, for example. All right. So, of course, it depends on what, um, on, on what, this depends on, on what you want to do. Now, of course, these controls are pretty simple now. Uh, then, of course, you get a retrigger. Now, of course, this is a waveform and it's going to go, uh, it's going to play this uh, waveform and you will give it, you will, you will, will, will uh, give an instructions to this uh, time control in how it needs to move. Now, this waveform starts at some, some point. So it starts right here, then goes up, then down, then up, and then down. Now, at one point, uh, you will, the, this pulse synth is going to start, the, it's going to finish the loop and it's going to start over. So you, this retrigger, and that's what this means, is going to restart the position of the LFO. Now, and if I turn it off, it's not that, that noticeable. All right, so that's, uh, that's with what the uh, retrigger is uh, going to do. Maybe not so useful for flanger, but that's okay. You always get it. Uh, with an LFO. So then you get the feedback control. Now, remember what this uh, thing does, the flanger is going to do, it's going to make a copy of the original and it's going to delay it. So if we talk about delays, we talk about the feedback. So as you know, we just, just a, any kind of a delay, you get it, let me bring the one, you get uh, a, a feedback control. And this is what it's going to do, it's going to grab the copy, uh, in this case, the delay copied, and it will feed back that copy and you're going to get this echo, co, co kind of a sound, right? If I go up on the feedback, that's what we get, right? So if you don't know what feedback is, uh, maybe you know, maybe you've seen a, a, maybe a dude standing on the, on the stage or maybe actually this happened to yourself. Um, when you have a microphone and you're, sp you're very close to the speakers, well, this is a feedback. You get that the annoying sound. Well, that, that's a feedback. You're talking to the microphone. The microphone is sending something to the speakers and the, speaker, the speakers is sending it back to your microphone. So you're just creating this uh, endless loop until you get s this uh, annoying sound, right? So that's feedback. So with the flanger, you're doing pretty much the same because you're using a delay time. So that delayed, uh, delayed sound will... Uh, grab that sound and send it back to itself. Now, the, th the difference uh, with the, 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 we, what we don't get with a delay is that since we have very short uh, de delay times, that feedback is going to start creating a different sound because it's super fast. So we are not going to get an echo. So I'm going to go and play it again with the, of course, the phaser. And this feedback will just make, make it much more aggressive.
But that's what you're essentially doing. You're taking the uh, the uh, flanged uh, flanger or flanged uh, sound. You're feedbacking to it uh, to itself, and then you get you know weird sounds. That's it. Now then you get this plus and this minus, and this one is going to be negative feedback and uh, positive. So if you're in positive. It means that the sound, the the, uh, the face, it's pretty much the same. You're just not doing anything. But with the uh, negative, you're just inverting it. It's not the same as the original that you're feedbacking. It's just changing the face. So again, I don't want to enter to uh, in a territory where I need to be, be very technical. The difference is that you're gonna get uh, kind of a jet plane sound with this one. And with this one, you get a much more hollow sound. Notice it's hollow. Jet plane, hollow. All right, so that's the, the difference in, you know, how we uh, hear uh, all of this. Now, of course, it is the most important part of the flanger. It's going to be the LFO in this case and the time control. Now, of course, right now we are using it in an absurd way just to get uh, to use it as, a, as an effects. But you can use it in very short times just to add a little bit of movement. All right? Now, of course, all of this depends on what you want to do. All right, I hope you learned something and uh, catch you on the next one.